Hey y'all, welcome back to Deep Brain Annie. Today we are gonna make chicken bog, also called chicken purlieu, depending on where you're from. We begin by making our stock. I'm gonna throw in our aromatics, our onion, carrot, and celery, along with one whole chicken, some garlic, some peppercorns, and some salt. You wanna cover it with water. I'm using about eight, eight cups of water or so. If you're using a whole chicken, it's okay if the, the breast kind of sticks up out of the liquid. Bring it to a boil over medium high heat and skim off that scuzzy stuff, the foam. Get as much of it as you can and you may need to do it a few times. And then you wanna reduce the heat to a medium low. Add in some bay leaves and simmer it. Simmers for about an hour until the chicken is done. Once the chicken is cooked through, go ahead and remove everything from the broth. You can strain it out like this, or you can pour it through a mesh strainer, whatever is easiest. You just want to make sure that you get everything out of there, including the little peppercorns. I guess it's pretty common knowledge by now that my hands are super heat tolerant. I am shredding the chicken or I'm removing it from the bones pretty much immediately. You'll want to wait until it cools enough for you to handle it comfortably. Don't burn yourself trying to do this. Then you're gonna stick the bones back into the liquid. We're not done making the broth yet. Don't add the skin. I don't know why I'm adding the skin. I do dumb shit sometimes. But after you've added all the bones, add your paprika, your dried thyme, some chicken bouillon powder, and some more salt. Specific amounts are listed in the recipe on my website. Um, stir all that together, and then you're gonna simmer it for about an hour. You wanna let it reduce until you have about six cups or a little more of broth. After you've drained the broth, go ahead and add your chicken and six cups of that broth that you made to a pot. Stir that together, and then it's time to work on the other additions. So add some butter to a nonstick skillet and add your sausage. You're not trying to like char or really cook the sausage, it's really just browning it a little bit and letting it release some of its oils. We're gonna use the remaining butter and the oil from the sausage to toast our rice. As soon as the rice starts kind of deepening in its color, go ahead and add it to the chicken bog. Stir it together and cook it. I cook it uh, somewhere between medium low and low for about 20 to 30 more minutes. You want your rice to be tender, of course. You don't want it to be mushy. There shouldn't be an excessive amount of liquid in your final product. It's kind of a personal preference, but a bog should be thick and swampy like a bog when you're done when it's cooked to the right consistency go ahead and turn off the heat stir in your butter your parsley and a little bit more pepper and yeah that's it you're done serve it it should look like this i mean in my house at least you may like yours a different consistency but this is perfect for us and yeah if you try it let me know what you thought i hope you enjoy it um, as always, thank you for spending a few minutes out of your day with me, and have a good one. Bye.